But let's just do this. Hi, happy Sunday. Click back into the game, Coco. There we go. Sunday's good so far, just relaxing to the max. Nice. Relaxing is always good. Okay, so we are in phase three. Oh, right, we're playing as the dude. Ch Choshiro. Yes. Got your groceries done early and just finishing tiny human laundry. Oh, good luck with the tiny human laundry. All right, we're playing as the dude who went looking for the girls that went missing or something like that. Oh, right, because we died. We got here and we died. And my last save was like 17 minutes ago. So I said, screw it, we'll do it next time. So here we are. We're doing it next time. <laughs> Can't see. Reception counter is open. Shelves contain files and medicine bottles are visible in the back. Well, let's go get us some drugs. There's a phone conspicuous conspicuously there. It's going to ring at some point. I guarantee it. Ninety nine. They can hear your scratching. Go away. Oh, wait, that's Max. Max, I can hear your scratching. Stop it. That door's locked. Max, don't listen. Hi, Mal. How are you? Oh, Max, Mal loves you. I'm pretty sure he's scratching because 99 is also there, so he's probably annoyed. They're not any place I can show them, though, unfortunately. They're hiding under the cat tree. Oh, good. We had a key. Oh, Mal loves you, too, 99. But not as much as Max because you hit Coco. That's fair. Yes, Richie, I did. My cats are Max and 99. I knew someone of your um, knowledge would get that. <laughs> Really? You shook it that hard? Okay. Water is collected in the sink. Some kind of red oil is floating around on the surface. You're 60. Yeah. That'll do it. You like herbal medicine. Ooh, we got a, a clipping from a magazine. Regetsu disappearances. We delve into the darkness behind the mysterious Regetsu disappearances. Six months have passed since the mass disappearances on Rogetsu Isle. With the investigation stalled. The incident is on the verge of being forgotten. But we have uncovered a sinister history that could be the key to solving the mystery. The Bizarre Illness Moonlight Syndrome. We first focused our investigation on Moonlight Syndrome, a condition unique to the Rogetsu Islands. According to the medical expert we contacted, it is a type of amnesia with unusual additional symptoms, such as sleepwalking and sufferers acting as though possessed by some force. The disaster of Rogetsu Island legends returns. Folklore is familiar with the history of the islands, say that this sickness has long been feared as a plague, 
So its reach clearly extends beyond the present day incident to the island's murky past. Legend also tells of a strange incident on which over half of the inhabitants of Rogetsu Isle vanished. Moonlight Syndrome and Mass? What if the Rogetsu disappearances were caused by an endemic outbreak of Moonlight Syndrome? The island is surrounded by a vast ocean. One doesn't like to linger too long on the fate of those wandering outside, blissfully unaware of their surroundings. Tourist efforts cursed on the island? Some islanders were opposed to turning the Rogetsu Kegora, a ceremony that was supposed to appease the souls of the dead, into a tourist attraction. Could the real root of the bizarre case be the shallowness of those who tried to turn a sacred ceremony into a commercial spectacle? I'm going to go with yes. Death of the Last Witness. Our only remaining lead was the last living witness to the incident, a young girl. Sadly, she died in the hospital several days ago. Reports say she used her final breath to cry out for her mother. What did this poor girl see on that fateful day? A few moments later. Thank you. The answer is known only to the now abandoned Rogetsu Isle. You f visual all visual novels be oh you finished you fin you finished uh, thirteen sentinels. Hello there. Hello. I was I was in and out lurking yesterday, but I don't know that I actually saw the end. Did it make sense when you put it all together? Because I know it was weird. Spoilers. Spoilers that it was weird. Watch the 34 hours of gameplay because you had to. That's fair. That is fair. Oh, right. He's got this weird... Flashlight slash the world also works as a camera because you know we could just have another camera. You want a unique story driven game and you seem to like stories, you put it on my list. Okay. Doing all the combat and casuals not hard at all. That's good to know. Ah, dang on it. No, you're not done with me. Time to fold tiny human clothes? Good luck. They get her? Woo! Diary with pictures too. You've ground, ground a ton of gems and gained zero levels without her. Right, well, that, good, that's good of you. Let's see. I told the doctor I don't like it. It hurts. Tomorrow, more surgery. It's making me mad, the surgery. More surgery. Tomorrow, more surgery. I don't like surgery hurts. Hurts hurts the surgery. It hurts me. Ow, 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 hurts, hurts. Hurt. Oh, yeah, hurts me. Die. Hurts, 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 dying. Hurts, 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 Or at least you don't tell her of the levels. Asagi Hizuki, female age 6. Circumstances of death, condition deteriorated severely after second surgical procedure. Patient was tranquilized but suddenly became deranged during the night. 
Doctor provided immediate emergency treatment to no effect. Patient died soon after. Cause of death unknown. Possible death due to weakness brought on by sudden worsening of moonlight syndrome symptoms. How do I switch it to... You never ever lie. Yeah. I feel like there was something here. Must be on the other side. Haha. Shadow loves the clip where you plant C4 on the floor and wait for me in Resident Evil 6 because it demonstrates go create patience. I mean, it really does. That is an awesome clip. There's a flyer posted up here. Once every 10 years in the month of September, a very important ceremony takes place on Rogetsu Isle, main island of the Rogetsu Islands. This is the Rogetsu Kagora. The Rogetsu Kagora is a representation of a means to direct communication between the living and the dead. Hi, CT. How are you? <laughs> Only works because the cooperative doors. It, it really does. Its origins are uncertain, but the people of Rogetsu Isle have carried it down through the ages as a way to honor the deceased. A maiden called the Vessel dances herself into a trance to the accompaniment of music played by five girls called organs. The dance continues well into the night. Only the Vessel and the organs wear masks during the Kagura. All those present as observers wear masks and hold candles while watching the ceremony. As the island's most important festival, the Kegura calls those born on Rogetsu Isle home every 10 years. They are said to make the journey no matter how far away they live. Once accessible only to such natives, the Kegura was open to visitors 30 years ago and is now the central tourist attraction on the island. I'm sure that went well. <laughs> Playing The Last of Us 2? Nice. That's definitely on my list for this year. Wow, a human head sits atop a medicine case. Brain surgery must have been performed in this place. Mm, sure. Can't confirm hanging bodies. Nice. Dusk is strewn with syringes, scissors, and scalpels. I've been observing cases of Moonlight Syndrome at Hayabara Infirmary. Also in the first game, too. Yes, actually, Joel was one of the hanging bodies in the first one. I remember that. I've been observing cases of Moonlight Syndrome at Hayabara Infirmary. The moment I first laid eyes on one of the patients, a ghastly thrill traveled up and down my spine. This syndrome is unlike anything I've ever seen before and is... In this line of work, I've seen more than my fair share of unusual and disturbing things. Moonlight Syndrome presents symptoms of memory fragmentation along with deterioration of sense of self, resulting in destruction of the sufferer's personality. In advanced stages, it leads to total amnesia and unresponsiveness and is ultimately fatal. But apparently most patients choose to end their own lives before the symptoms can progress to those final awful stages. Watching as those poor bastards have their memories taken away from them as they break down and are consumed little by little. It's so horrible one trembles at the sight. I wouldn't wish Moonlight Syndrome on my worst enemy. No one should have to feel themselves slip away into the darkness. Seeing it for myself, I have a renewed sense of urgency regarding my work here. 
Dr. Hayabara is treating Moonlight Syndrome as a special kind of local endemic disease, but he hasn't yet been able to grasp the nature of the condition or develop a reliable method of treatment or cure. His focus is on medication combined with surgical procedures and folk medicine as a means to combat, combat the condition. I'll learn more details about the different kinds of treatment tomorrow. I just hope one of them can be developed into a cure and we can finally wake these people from their nightmare. And we got a key. All the way back there. Okay. Investigate the exam room. Okay. There's something here. There it goes. Oh good, we can't go that way. All right, turning around. Go back from where we came. I should probably heal just in case I get ambushed. Seems like a good idea. Max power. Let's do max power. Okay. in here. What are we examining now? Large object shrouded in cloth. Well, let's just leave it that way, shall we? Ah, oh, yes. This is where we died last time. <laughs> Hi! Take that, you scumbag. <laughs> Something was lying where the ghost disappeared. I am associated with Hayabara Infirmary, and I want to make the truth known about recent disappearance of those girls. As I was walking into the infirmary grounds, I heard the sounds of children's voices coming from the well. At first, I thought I was hearing things, but the voices became more and more distinct. 
They weren't just crying as normal children do when they fall or lose sight of their parents in a crowded place. It was an altogether more hollow, terrible sound. It's them, the girl who vanished. I'm sure of it. I can't keep quiet about this anymore. If you don't act now, it will be too late. Those girls are being consumed even as I write this. I beg you, conduct a search of Hyabar Infirmary as soon as possible. Well, all right. Carbo box full of medicine bottles sits atop a small rack. Water is collected in the sink. Oh, oh, we've already, we've already been in this room. Never mind. Am I on PS4 right now? No. This is on PC. I would like to save now, please. What? Hey, that's younger. Hey, let him go. We we need to go to the safe spot, buddy. Don't run into the elevator. Told you the phone was going to ring at some point. We're going to go this way first so that we'll save. Now we'll go answer the phone. Hi, lady.
Hi, Jammy. Enjoy your uh, luck or your lurk, whichever one applies. <laughs> Both needed. Yeah, that's fair. All right. Let's see, where are we going? Oh, we need to go to a room over here because we have the key for that. Running in this game is just atrocious. And I can kind of get away with the girls running like that because, you know, stereotypical girl run, right? But the guy should not run like that. Patient interview. All right, we found a document. In mild cases of moonlight syndrome, patients start to lose fragments of their memories and tend to sleepwalk. Neither of these symptoms is especially uncommon and may even occur together, but it is the effect of the phase of the moon on the moonlight syndrome patients that makes it very different from such other conditions. Patients stabilize when the moon waxes and is full, but tend to seek out the moonlight and wander at night. When the moon wanes, they become frightened and unstable. Hence, the condition we now call Moonlight Syndrome was originally known as Moonlust or Nightwalking, names still used in superstitious contexts. In severe case, cases, patients lose almost all of their memories and are attracted to windows and rooftops, giving the appearance of being led by the moonlight. They bathe happily in it as if having lost their, their lost selves returned to them, albeit for a fleeting, unsustained moment. Patients who lose their memories will start looking toward the moon without fail. Symptoms like this may occur in individual psychiatric cases, but it is difficult to satisfactorily explain their simultaneous emergence in multiple pa patients. The condition is unique to the Rogetsu Islands, so it may have some connection with the climate or beliefs of these islands. Yeah, that's not weird in the slightest. door over there and a door over here I'm gonna go with this door all right just for giggles does the other door open oh it does I can go both ways which way do we want to go Oh, the other door leads us to the reception desk. Let's go to the reception desk first. <laughs> oh, shoot. Nope, wasn't fast enough. Hate that. Wish there was a faster way to unequip the lens. Or equip and unequip the lens. Wooden card, waxing moon. Or waning moon. Alright, I'm gonna guess we have to find the another one like that. Rusted shut lockers. Sacred water is always nice. Nope, 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 sir. There is still a shiny on the shelf. Thank you. Now you may go through the door. The 
existence hiding something. Good to know. Really? The days pass and our efforts to treat Moonlight Syndrome continue. Dr. Hayabara's treatments, treatment methods have shown some positive results, but they're starting to lose what basis they had in medical science and are increasingly muddled with superstition and folklore. He's putting more and more emphasis on his own ideas and the legends of the island. Frankly, I doubt the efficacy of such methods. I've never seen such treatment applied to a neurological condition. In particular, the macabre apparatuses he uses are unlike anything I've ever seen used at any other hospital. What I find most dis more disturbing, though, is the bizarre terminology used in this hospital. These are not stand standard medical terms. For instance, intermediate stage moonlight syndrome patients present symptoms where they fear their own reflection in mirrors or waters. Or water. In the folklore of Rogetsu Isle, this phenomenon is referred to as budding. The patients may be seeing their own faces reflected as something entirely different. Whatever the nature of the symptom, I wish they would call it a hallucination or a phobia. Rather than, use proper, rather than use proper medical terms, this superstitious budding word is used by the infirmary, infirmary staff on a daily basis. Apparently, patients who see a budded face, visible only to themselves, also bud. Then there's blossoming. I don't know the specifics of the symptoms, but I have seen the color drain from people's faces at the mere mention of the word. From the sound of it, I doubt it has anything to do with botany. They say that those who see faces of people with severe cases of Moonlight Syndrome resonate with them and become afflicted with the syndrome themselves. Is this budding? Whatever the name for it, how is it even possible for a neurological condition to be transmitted? Before coming here, I wouldn't even have entertained such a possibility, but Moonlight Syndrome may somehow be contagious. On top of all this, I've been asked to make preparations for a rite to be held tomorrow. What kind of procedure is this? I don't know. How did it come to this? The whole affair has left me sick at heart. The light for the director's office is lit. Is someone there? Oh, damn it. Where is this guy? One friend. Thank you. Engraved box. It's engraved with a waxy moon and a waning moon pattern with two slots visible. Well, we have one of them. <gasps> oh god. Sir!
Ghost hands may appear when you try to pick up an item. Be careful you lose the item if they manage to grab your arm. Okay, F that noise. Right, CT? F that noise is right. Well, now whatever that was was gone. Fine. Put my lens again. <coughs> Director Hayabara passing by. Thanks, buddy. There's a bookcase are lying open, a bitterly cold draft from behind it. Oh, I bet it's a secret passage. <coughs> Excuse me. I come from an esteemed lineage of head ceremonial priests bearing the honored name of Hayabara. I am also the medicine man of this island, and as, have, as such, have come face to face with this condition known in the modern vernacular as Moonlight Syndrome. In establishing an institution to research and treat Moonlight Syndrome, I have exploited the benefits of medical science while still upholding the teachings of my ancestors. I believe it is my mission to research this baffling syndrome using a fusion of modern science and ancient tradition. Once the people of Rogetsu Isle use their own means, befitting of the, their time, to delve into the nature of mind and soul. The masks of the Kagura were only for one such means. By wearing the mask and hearing the music, the vessel loses herself. The organ's masks allow them to keep their beat steady. The wearing of masks simulates various different parts of the human brain. This is a fascinating phenomenon that science alone cannot explain. Masks truly are a powerful method to explore the potential of the brain. They open a door for us to explore new territories. And so came to be the ancient, no, the true form of the Rogetsu Kegura, the rite of descent. The rite provides us with a means to dive into the abyss of the mind. However, the rite of descent has been forbidden ever since it brought disaster to Rogetsu Isle. The legend that tells of this disaster are terrifying, but in order to conquer Moonlight Syndrome, we must be brave enough to step over taboo boundaries. The moon eclipses, but once every 10 years. We cannot let this chance escape us. Time is a commodity we sadly lack. Sure. In other words, the doctor is cray cray. Can I take a picture of the bookcase? It wouldn't tell me there's a draft behind that bookcase. I couldn't get through there somehow, I don't think. Sculpture resembling a cloud-veiled moon. All right. 
Oh, now there's something here. Spirit stones. Well, exciting, not necessarily what I want. There's an intercom displaying a series of numbers on the desk. Search for traces of the director is my objective. All right. Full moon, which means the crazies are going to come out. All right. Can I get into whatever that room was? I think I can. Wait, hold on. Let me face this door. Yeah, see, it shows me there's a door behind that, but how do I get... I don't know. I can go downstairs that way. Do we know if there's a safe spot down there, or am I safer going back this way and saving in the lobby? Oh, hell, let's just go down the stairs. Okay, I have a map of the hallway. My safe spot is all the way over there. Okay. Somehow we gotta get behind there. Oh, so I can't actually get in here. Okay. Well, that's cute. Alright, so let's go up. Nope, nope, that's that. I need to go this way. And we saved. Okay. Let's see. I can go up. Can 
might be the only place I can go. So let's do that. First room we go to. Alright, x rays, patient files. The recognition of my fruitful research into the workings of the cranial nervous system. I've been assigned to work as an assistant to Dr. Shigeto Hayabara at the Hayabara Infirmary on Rogetsu Isle. Dr. Hayabara is the leading researcher of Moonlight Syndrome, a condition, a condition peculiar to the Rogetsu Islands. The documents I've read describe Moonlight Syndrome as a composite mental disorder with curious symptoms such as sleepwalking and memory loss. Despite ongoing research, both the cause of the syndrome and the reason for its confinement to the Rogetsu Islands remains unknown. Dr. Hayabara is currently working to discover the truth about the condition. He has taken a unique approach to treating Moonlight Syndrome, incorporating the folklore of the islands. Treatments such as musical therapy using the traditional Rogetsu Isle moon sounds are unheard of in conventional psychiatry. I think Dr. Hayabara's ideas are leading the profession in an exciting new direction. His research may not only cure Moonlight Syndrome, but also help to unlock the mysteries surrounding the effect that memory has on the mind. It's fascinating. I have no doubt that working with Dr. Hayabara will be a chance to gain valuable experience that simply can't be found on the mainland. Yeah, this is very creepy. Creepy AF. Hi! We're looking at the man in the mirror. Change his ways. That's about all I know of that song. You weren't really here with one of the girls before. This room looks awfully familiar. I know we've been here before now. A little wheelchair. There's nothing up here. Okay. wheelchair that way. Here. Oh, there's double doors over there. All right. Let's go to the other side of the hall first. Uh. 
Jack 26k, welcome in. Thank you for the follow. Okay, fine. I won't go that way. I won't go that way either, game. Can I call the elevator? I don't think I can. No. Alright, let's go back downstairs. We didn't explore that, did we? Let's try that. Let's go back this way. Saw an examine somewhere. There we go. Plenty of red spear stones and nothing to use them on. Great. Oh, right. I don't think we could open the door over here, could we? Yeah, okay. So we have that door that we can't open. It's probably our way out of here. And we have this door over here that we can't open. There's our front door we can't leave. We got an elevator that we can't get into.
fashion left. Okay, yeah, but we can't do anything with it. So why did that just fall to the ground? Is that a clue? here again. There's an intercom displaying a series of numbers on the desk. Can I take a picture of the intercom? Four, three, eight, nine, five, one. Do I need to know that? At least I think that's what that says. Write it down just in case. The doors of the bookcase are lying open, a bitterly cold draft from behind it. Drifts from behind it. What if I unequip my lens? I'll just look at it with the flashlight. Nope. All 
right, so we still can't get behind there. And then if we go downstairs, our way is blocked. Reach there and get that? Ooh, I did. I got it. The box opened with the box and Wayne Moon cards were inserted. Okay. Ha ha. Box contained a piece of paper. 438951. That was the code on the intercom. A serial number and some kind of riddle written on it. Director's office. Twice seven days makes the new full moon. Plus one is the key square as to the square as well. All right, so two times seven is 14. Plus one. So is it just one for one? Or is it 15? Two times seven plus one. Okay. So I need to go up to the intercom and I can use that. All right, do we want to do one for one, 14 and then one? Did I enter the wrong number? All right. Twice seven days to the full moon, so plus one, it's 15. Jammy, I need your puzzle solving skills. Where's my document?
Ouais. Memo with code, that's the one. Twice seven days makes the new moon full. Plus one is the key to the square as well. So is this code a square? Do I need to make Like, what number makes them equal 15? So, 9 plus 4 is 13. So, one more would, two more would make 15. And then three plus five is eight. So I would need seven. And then nine. I would need six. So two, seven, six, maybe? Something moved behind the bookcase. Woo! Yeah, thanks. That was a little harder than I wanted it to be. beyond the hidden door. That seems safe. Oh, look. Stairs. Wait, do I have a lens equipped? I do. Okay. Sir. Thank you. Have a nice day. Oh, wait, you already did. Stones. Moonlight Syndrome research file. Of all the methods of treating Moonlight Syndrome that we have tried to date, the most promising appears to be surgery. Specifically, this treatment involves stimulation of the brain by direct or indirect means. Progress was very slow and difficult at first with much experimentation. But results started to appear, and now it seems the day cannot be far when we find a comprehensive treatment method. 
However, there was recently a case in which surgery seemed successful at first, but unfortunately ended in tragedy. The patient initially appeared to recover from Moonlight Syndrome, but rapidly deteriorated with total amnesia and voidness followed by death. The corpse's face appeared war warped and was, of course, harvested immediately. Was the warping the beginning of blossoming? Research into treatment through surgical procedures continues, but blossoming must be prevented at all costs. We must not bring about another disaster like the one spoke of in our legends. We cannot have another day of tranquility on this island. All right. Surgical lamp. That is equipped with thick restraints and spotted with deep red stains. Hmm, okay. Well, this place looks happy. It's a bed fitted with an ominous device. What the hell is Doctor Director Hayabara doing down here? This looks great. That passage is completely blocked. Alright. Oh. Goody. We're completely underground. I'm sure this will end well. elevator come down here? It's the organ. Oh yeah, that creepy. I think that was the end of that chapter. Uh, yes, save my game. Thank you. If no one remembers something, does it mean it never happened? Ruka Minazuki, another one of the girls who disappeared 10 years previously, comes to Rogetsu Isle after Misaki and Madoka. Ruka grew up on the island, but after the incident, she and her mother left. Ruka has her own reasons for coming here. Ruka wants to piece together her lost memories. Why doesn't she remember where she was born or what her father looked like? 
what was done to her and the other girls, what happened on the island the day they were taken. While exploring Rogetsu Hall in search of the key to her memories, Ruka encounters the ghost of Madoka in the room next to the Aso Museum. She then looks in the mirror and is greeted with a vision of her own face, warped and distorted. Phase four. All right, we're back as Ruka. It is nice that it recapped Ruka's story before we played another Ruka chapter so we can remember what happened. Yeah. I don't understand. Since I saw the one with no face, I don't understand anymore. My face is break, breaking, but I remember now. Me crying. Ayako's face. A hand grabbing me. The mask is coming. Blood red. That music. Fallen face. No, don't show me anymore. I remember. We were chosen. It hurts. Everything. Shut it out. Shut it all out. I don't want to see. Ah, I want to shut it out, but the moon is calling. The moon, the moon, moon, moon. I want to be somewhere dark, somewhere dark with no moon. Uh, uh, I'm going back to my room. Okay. <gasps> God. Teddy! Thank you for the raid. Welcome in. Jammy coming in on that rain must be in from her lurk. <laughs> How was Mario Kart, Teddy? How are you? <laughs> DK cheats the most. Oh, that's how it went. I see how it is. <laughs> well, hi, everybody. Welcome. If you don't know me, I'm Bunch of Coconuts. We play horror games. We're playing um, Fatal Frame, Mask of the Lunar Eclipse. It's weird. <laughs> you did a CPU tournament to see which CPU would win, aka cheat the most, and it was DK. Of course it was. <laughs> did you have fun, though? That's the important I was lurking for a few minutes as I was getting my stream ready. And I just love your commentary. Like, that's the same when you were doing that WWE thing. Um, I just like your commentary. I think it's fantastic. So we're back playing as Ruka here. We just started her chapter. This is fun. Yeah, you did have fun. You're glad you enjoyed your goofy commentary. Yeah. You're cleaning and listening to Radio Teddy. It was amazing. I bet it was. Maybe that's how I'll get my laundry put away. I'll just say, hey, Teddy, I need you to, to, to play a game so I can put laundry away. I like that idea. <laughs> Let's do the stones. Yes, the goats capturing ladies. That didn't work, apparently. There we go. At least I'm back to a girl with a camera, because we were we were playing the dude before, and I, Ch Chir Chiroso or whatever his name was, 
and he had a spirit flashlight, which I had to equip the lens if I wanted to take a picture of something like these floating ghosts. But I had to unequip the lens if I wanted to kill them because the spirit flashlight kills them. It was ridiculous. Just give me a camera that does both. <laughs> You find a folding laundry simulator into a sports commentating on. I would love that. Or, you know, I could just live stream my folding of laundry and you could, like, do a play by play. That would be hilarious. <laughs> Hi. Wait, music again? Who's playing that music? I don't know who's playing it, but can we turn it off? Because that's horrific. What's this? Coco's breaking out the double sock fold technique. That's not only going to shave a couple seconds off for folding time, it'll make a nice form to throw at Java later. I love it. Oh, by the way, uh, Java is not home tonight, so please do not redeem the throw things at Java. Just throwing that out there. Alright. Why? There we go. Is this where the music's coming from? Switch it off. Yes, please. Thank God. That was horrible. There's a logbook by the switch. Of course there is. One item to report today. Experimented today with musical therapy by playing music over the speakers between 12 p.m. and 5 p.m. As usual, the music was a selection from the moon sounds. Some patients, especially the youngest children, were seen to present extreme reactions not normally seen in them. Since the therapy has been proven to produce an effect, it may be carried out again in the future. However, I believe that the mo most of the reactions seen today were not positive. The behavior of our patients still holds many mysteries for us. The next time such experiments are carried out, please prepare as much as possible for unanticipated situations. Maybe if you found better music than that, the kids wouldn't act out trying to get it to turn off. Just a thought. Life room 207 is lit up. Ayako is written on the nameplate. Crazy lady. Oh, I'm doing I'm doing well, Teddy. Um, I was not called for rehearsal today. So uh 
Java and I watched a couple episodes of The Last of Us before he had to leave for work, and then I took a nap. It was amazing. A meeting will take place tomorrow at 6 p.m. to explain the experimental treatment of playing music over the speaker system. Information about the location of the meeting will follow. The nurse in charge of room 207 in the new building should bring the music score from the room next door. Okay, music score from the next door. A nap? Yeah. I also had a 99 on me most of the afternoon, so there is that. All right, do we know which way room 207 is? 203, 206, room with four poster bed, 207. All right, so we need to go to that one. Actually, before we go any further, I'm going to go downstairs and save. Because that sounds like a good plan. Level up our lens, why not? And again, why not? And one more time, why not? Okay. And I've got 26 to use here. Points received when taking photos. Proves camera charging time. I like that one. And let's do that one. Okay. Now we can save. And now we can go upstairs. Is this the room I wanted? I honestly don't know. No, I want this room. Hi. <gasps> Welcome back, Ari! Well, I'm in here now. I'm going to look around. <laughs> well, hello there. I wake up and realize I'm looking at the moon. When I look at the moon, my mind comes back a little. But now I think I'm going to stop looking. Ruka, do you remember? I wanted to get back, but I couldn't remember. But some things are best left forgotten. But it's okay. doesn't matter. It's all going away. All going away. Ah. Ah. It's over. CT jumping out of his grandpa's chair. Yeah, that's probably true. Uh, we finished Dude's chapter, and we're now we're back to Ruka. And I'm calling him Dude because I can't remember his name. Nor can I pronounce it properly.
His name's like Chiroso Ch or something, but I know that's like butchering it very badly. Okay, I'm going the right way. I mean, to be fair, it's probably not pronounced Ruka either, but... That's what I'm going with. Oh yeah, this room's happy. I remember this room. Let go. You took my shiny. That's rude. Ayako, female, age 12, room 207. Patient exhibits symptoms of sudden memory loss as well as a singular lack of ethics and morality exemplified in the enjoyment she gets from causing pain and taking light. She may be using aggressive behavior as a means to keep a grip on her sense of self. Other patients have displayed tendencies to cling to objects or aspects of personality, but Ayoko, Ay Ayako is the first to cling to violence. Her moonlight syndrome may only be in a moderate stage of advancement, but she requires careful observation. Ayako is cray cray, got it. Aha! Take that weird spirit arm. Die? Um. I know, that was very rude. Me, child. Is she? Oh, there she is. I missed my tail frame. Thank <laughs> you. 
Damn it. There we go. Thank you for dying. Enjoy your afterlife. Yeah, no grabby, no touchy. I mean, I guess she didn't want us to find her secret hiding hole here, but still. Oh, this can't be good. Ayoka in bed. Why? Why? Do you guys hear that sound? It's like, uh... Music score. You might remember something if I played on the dining hall piano. Memory and music are deeply connected. I see many examples of music prompting the recollection of forgotten memories. One such case was a patient of mine who would play various phrases on a piano, seemingly using the notes and phrases as a tool to explore her own mind. She started to play several similar phrases over and over, changing the key slightly each time. Repeat, repeat, repeat. Those phrases must have had some connection with her deeply buried memories. The improvement in her condition was dramatic and surprising. Unfortunately, she killed herself after recovering her memories. This case ended in failure, but what's certain is that music can reach deep regions of the mind inaccessible to mere language. There is, is music like that on this island. I remember hearing it when I was a child. They called them moon sounds. There are different kinds of moon sounds, but I remember some of them being used during rituals and festivals. Most of the moon sounds have been passed down by word of mouth. The melodies are ancient, but I've definitely seen documents about them somewhere. Seems it was worth coming back to this island in the end. There's someone in here again. A mirror stone. Go to the dining hall. Which is fine because that leads me back down to the save area anyway. Well, of course the phone's ringing. It looks like everybody on this island is dead, but somebody keeps making phone calls.
Ooh, what noms are you making? And this sounds like lovely uh, bath time uh, viewing for the tiny humans. <laughs> Ooh, mac and cheese. That sounds good. We'll save up. Are you gonna let me save? No. Oops, wrong button. Hi, creepy lady. Woman in black lurking. Oh, she's joining you guys in the lurk. That's nice. Although I probably should uh, heal now that I saw my health there. Uh, what, Ari? Guess what, chicken butt? House Flipper 2 comes out just before your birthday? Yay! So what you're, what I'm hearing is we need to uh, do the haunted house in House Flipper before House Flipper 2 comes out. <laughs> because for those of you that don't know, Ari is too scared to do the haunted house in House Flipper, and she wants to get me on a Zoom call so that I could do it for her. I mean, it probably would be very fun. And we tested the theory that uh, I can control it just fine without too much lag. So. <laughs> just Ari playing through RE5. No. That'll never happen. Oh, shoot. I didn't read what it said. According to the score, it should sound like this. Oh, crud. I have to play it? Follow the notes and play. Oh, boy. All right. Bumper. Up. X. Nope. Oh, shoot. I don't know where my buttons are on here. Oh, no. X is over here. I, I know this song. I've heard it before. Oh, you lied. The farm expans expansion released just before your birthday, not number two. Oh, well, you can still get the farm expansion. <laughs> uh, yes, but but who who had to run from the alligators and who hid on shore?
was a lot of quick flashes. Yes, I always took that lift. Alright. Go Google Samarta Meyer's house. Coco, you don't. Okay. Well, I can't Google it right now anyway. I'm busy. <laughs> oh, there's the lift. What? What the actual F is that? Yeah, because she wants me to go into it blind and be scared. I, I, I get it. Alright, do I follow them or do I get on the lift? I think I should follow them. triggered me singing but it did so there we go <laughs> yeah. I probably should have a sing command Ooh, a slow lens talk to me about the slow lens game He's busy playing The Last of Us, too. He's got more important things to do than Google creepy houses. Why are we walking right towards the ghost? This seems like a bad idea. The Last of Us 2 is scary? Well, yeah. Or this game. The Last of Us 2 is on my list to play later this year, but eventually, once I make it through all my new games, I'm going to play all the sequels of games I played last year. Scary and brutal and dark. That, that sounds about right. I don't want to touch it. I don't want to touch it. I'm going to touch it. Hi, creepy lady. Alright, well, that's only fair if you don't touch me.
Thank God it. Slightly over dramatic. There's something on the ground by the pool. Yay, death! Copper key with the word switchboard room inscribed on it. Alright. By the pool. I can't stop this feeling. What? What? I'm not doing any damage. I can't take a picture of her. Alright, so what happens if we just walk around her? Can I ignore her? You told me the pool only has staff. I mean, you might not be wrong. Nope, it probably won't let me go through there until she's gone. Go back outside. So this whole thing is in black and white. It's making it very hard to see. I mean, she's not attacking.
Can I jump in the pool? No. Don't understand game. I don't understand. Um, yeah, Lady by the Pool is cray cray. Doors. Why are there so many of them in here? Eh.
Where'd he go? Where'd he go? I know that sound is horrible. All right, we saved. And we need to get over there. With the key. So, through the dining hall is probably the closest route. It is, yeah, it does sound like metal scraping the floor. This is true. This door looks safe. Film. Oh, we're going downstairs. Oh, goody. this one. Right, that one opens. No, oh, there's also a door there. Hold on. I'm stuck in the doorway. I'm literally stuck in the doorway. What's this door over here? Well, this one triggered a cutscene, so that can't be good. This must be the switchboard room. It seems like everything is still working. Today, to, uh, today's on dirty, dude. Let's try that again. To today's on duty nurse. The password for the door to the third floor ward has been changed to 1956. There are some extremely sick patients on the third floor, so please be very careful with the door to that floor. Where's that shotgun camera spready thing, right? 1956, okay. I wish I could have a shotgun with, uh, with my camera. That'd be useful. Control panel, but it doesn't seem to be working at the moment. And it didn't let me flip it, so I'm guessing I don't have what I need for that combination yet. Uh, 
That door is locked. Oh, this brings us back outside. Weird lady still out here? No. Good. Alright. It sounds like the game wants us to go to the third floor. So I guess we'll go to the third floor. We need to go back to the lift hallway. I'm going in circles! You know, uh, Ruka, we'd retrace our steps a lot faster if you actually ran instead of this little, like, shuffle thing that you're doing. Take the lift. Information about the lift. The lift services floors one to four. A key is required to access the fourth floor. The lift is powered from the underground switchboard room and can be switched on and off from there. The code to activate the switch is 23. Now I have the code for that thing. He's going to switch more room in the end event power related failure. And we have a map of the floors finally. Rogetsu Hall was built as a sanatorium extension to Hayabara Infirmary, but there are also guest facilities on the first floor. The rooms in the building have all been named with a moon motif. 101 Harmonious Moon, 102 Glorious Moon. The Asu Museum is a room dedicated to Professor Asa's visit to the island and features important materials on display. Entrance is free. Anyone wishing to visit should apply at reception. Pale Moon, the pool in the Moonflower Garden Courtyard, may also be used freely between July and October. Note to staff regarding underground floors. Entrance to rooms other than the switchboard room and water storage room is strictly prohibited. Well, alright. What could be the matter with you of late? Why are you in such a foul mood? Back then, 
When first I told you how I felt about you, you rejected me completely and utterly, even though you always smiled at me after you became me. Even though you always smiled at me after you became me? What does that mean? Welcome back, Jam Jammy. Uh, yes, so we did fatally frame some things. I want to see you smile like that again. Where shall we go for our walk today? We're just reading things out of order, too. That's fine. Let's see, the note said it adds up to 23, right? Here we go. Oh, which one of these was a one? Shoot. This one? No, that makes it 16. No. Shoot. There it goes. Nailed it. Mechanical sounding noise must be the lift working. Oops, it was too late. Can I go through that door now that he went through there? I can. Do I want to go through this door now that he went through there? Man guarding door. That seems safe. It's locked. All right. And we shall go back to the lift. What, now I'm stuck down here? Why won't it open? Excuse me, sir. Or madam, I really can't tell. What was the name of the game that had the flower petals? I'm gonna need more than flower petals. Is it gone? Dead? I don't think it is because the music's still weird. Definitely not a word. 
Hallie played a game called Flowers. Yeah, yeah, I don't think I ever played that one. Sir. I'm trying to think of another game like Journey. Ooh, yeah. Journey was an awesome game. On the Court of the Unhallowed. Um, have you played Rime? R-I-M-E? It ha has Journey-like vibes. And fun puzzle solving. Um, yeah. That was a fun game. Java and I played that a long, long time ago. Um, yeah. Court of the Unhallowed is the resident of residence of the deceased. The faces of the deceased can change and thus be in danger of blossoming. On the first sign of blossoming in the deceased, thou must harvest the face and remove the bud. Being done, thou must place a false face upon them that doth be like their face to preserve their appearance as when living. The mask becometh part of the deceased. The mask becometh the deceased. The deceased becometh the mask. Let not the living into the court of the unhallowed, lest their minds be lost and they be in danger of budding. Only those who are trained and have moonlight in their soul may enter. But be thou warned, let not any soul into the court on nights when the moon not be full. Blossoming faces, you very last of us, right? So can I go this way now? Now that he's no longer guarding the door. Speaking of, I started watching the the series Last of Us, and uh, they just did a really good job with the clickers and and whatnot and the infected. Like, it's just they look really cool. Yeah, we, we, we watched the first, first four episodes uh, this uh, weekend. And it's funny because when Java never played all of The Last of Us. He played the very beginning of the game up until you, like, pick up Ellie and that, you know, that's where he stopped. So he doesn't know anything after that. Um. And so, and there were a couple of scenes early on that I'm like, oh, that's exactly the game. So now, every time something happens, he's like, is that in the game? Is that in the game? Is that in the game? I'm like, just watch the show. <laughs> God damn it, TVJ, right? Pierce lets you take more powerful shots for a fixed amount of time when used. All right. Right. Let's play the game. I mean, it's not his type of game, and I totally get that. It's just funny. They did such a good job with the ministering choices. I think he made some choices, just they didn't have to do social zombie makeup. I mean, that's probably true. I mean, I really, I'm just impressed by the, like, title sequence with, like, the, the fungus creeping all over the place, and it's the shape of the U.S. I just thought that was cool. <laughs> It's totally your type of game, Jammy, because it's very story driven. I mean, I stuck at, at at stealth and shooting too, but it's very story driven, so I enjoy it. I know, I know.
Oh, it's that lady again. Can we just ignore her like we did before? That'd be great. Can we go upstairs? I'd like to go upstairs. the elevator now? Well, that's ominous. It did save, right? Can I upgrade any of my lenses? Oh, wait, no, no, I don't have 30 yet. I do have 10. I think I want to hold out for 15. Holy crap, people! Why? Man, get out of the lift! Yeah, honestly! So it's funny, because I keep going back and forth between calling it a uh, lift and an elevator, because, you know, welcome back, Teddy. Because, um, you know, here in the U.S. we call it an elevator. Anywhere else in the world they call it a lift. So at rehearsal the other night, our stage manager, who is British, uh, came over and was saying that we all needed to come over and get a torch from her for the song we were working on. And, you know, most of us were thinking, torch? Like a blowtorch? Yeah, they were little mini flashlights. <laughs> It's just funny words that mean different things in different parts of the country. You only know torch from Phasma, to be honest. True. True. But yeah, we had to collect torches from her. They were mini flashlights. <laughs> All right, well, this was 1956. Wait, where am I going? I want in 1956. Where am I? Oh, well, this is the second floor. Right? All right. Second floor is one, two, three, four. Okay. Or are these just floor buttons? Maybe they're just floor buttons. I am confused because it told me I needed a code to get to the third floor. Oh well, we'll take it. I'm on the third floor? No, that's not my map. I am on the third floor. Alright. Where's my save thing? Corridor is blocked by a red wheelchair. Well, that's rude. I can go downstairs there. Oh, there's my save thing. It's right there.
Rhyme is on your list recommended by Java Rebel, so that was a long that was yeah. He hasn't been Java Rebel in a long time. Oh, is this 1956 maybe? Hey, we did it. <laughs> Nurse heading towards room. Well, let's follow her, because that's what we do. Oop, but first, shinies. New building 3F status end of July. Room 308, Silent Moon. Ruka Yomo Yomotsuki. Oh, our room. We have been asked to report the results of Ruka's musical therapy. Report the progression of her Moonlight Syndrome symptoms to the director, as well as which moon sounds she responds to. Room 309, Faded Moon. Yuko M Magaki. A generous turn to the facility. He gets upset if you enter his room while he is painting. So please avoid doing so if possible. Also, never touch his paintings. I've played Layers of Fear. I know better than to touch paintings. 310, Waning Moon, Misaki Aso. Misaki is receiving special treatment directly from Dr. Hayabara. She is quite delicate, so do not make contact with the patient on the fourth floor. 311, Waxing Moon, Kigiri Sendo. Kigiri is being treated by the director in conjunction with her family doctor. Do not enter her special treatment room except in an absolute emergency. Got some film. Ooh, redstone. That means I can upgrade, right? How close am I to the hallway? Very close, right? I want to save. Since I upgraded my camera and all. finish the chapter. All right. Nicely done. Thank you. So summary, I was saying, so this is Misaki's summary. While exploring Rogetsu Hall, Misaki Aso comes across a girl in black, the same girl who appears in her figmented memories, calling her back to Rogetsu Isle. Misaki desperately wants to find out the connection between the girl and herself. Following the girl through the darkness, she arrives at a room, the room where Madoka was hospitalized 10 years ago. Misaki discovers that all five girls who disappeared were patients of the Rogetsu Hall sanitarium. 
They were being treated for Moonlight Syndrome, a condition unique to Rogetsu Isle. While looking for Madoka, Misaki starts to remember the events of ten years ago. Madoka? Where is Madoka? Needs to find Madoka. There. It looks like it didn't save, so we'll start back with that when we start again on Wednesday. Um, but yeah. But thanks everyone for being here. I appreciate you. And uh, we will see you all uh, on Tuesday. Have a good night. Hey.